Hi everyone, Kathleen Brooks here, Research Director at XTB. It's a monster week for financial markets with three major central bank meetings. Things kicked off with the Bank of Japan on Tuesday who hiked interest rates and ended their long-held policy of negative interest rates. This means that no major economy in the world has negative interest rates now. However, the Bank of Japan didn't signal further rate hikes, which has weighed on the yen. And dollar yen is back above 150 in the aftermath of this meeting. Later this week, we have the Federal Reserve meeting in the US on Wednesday night and the Bank of England on Thursday. Looking at the Fed first, no change in interest rates is expected. However, we will be watching closely for the Fed's updated dot plot. This is important because it visually depicts FOMC members' interest rate forecasts. It's updated quarterly. Last time, FOMC members predicted roughly three interest rate cuts for 2024, which set off a large market rally. This time, there are concerns that the Fed could revise down their interest rate expectations to two cuts for this year. This is because inflation is surprised on the upside for two months in a row and the jobs market remains tight. However, there's a chance that the Federal Reserve Chairman, Jerome Powell, could also sound worried about the economic outlook due to troubles in the real estate sector and weakness in retail sales. Deciding when to cut interest rates has got harder for the Fed and other central banks as the pandemic has fundamentally changed the economy in multiple ways. For example, the global economy is now more inflationary, jobs markets are tighter, and geopolitics have made commodity prices more volatile. This is making it very difficult to predict what the Fed will do next. Right now, the financial markets expect the first rate cut from the Fed in July, but that could change depending on the outcome of this week's meeting. We think the decision could determine what happens next for global stock markets. Will they continue to move higher and reach new record highs, or will they sell off? Also, the dollar has been fairly weak for most of this year, but if the Fed errs on the hawkish side, then the dollar could rally strongly. We think that dollar yen and sterling dollar could be big movers on the back of this meeting. Elsewhere, the Bank of England meeting on Thursday is also worth watching. The market doesn't expect a rate cut until June at the earliest. However, the February inflation report is expected to show that prices have fallen sharply compared to last year. Even the service sector, which has been extremely sticky, is expected to have fallen. While the annual rates of inflation are cooling, as the BOE expected, the monthly rate of headline CPI is expected to rise by 0.7%, which is likely to be too high for the bank, and this is why we think that the Bank of England will signal that there are no hurry to cut rates. The market is likely to react to what the bank says. If interest rates are expected to stay higher for longer, this could weigh on risk sentiment and push sterling higher, while domestically focused UK stocks may struggle. That's it for now. Thanks for joining.